talking about some Smash Brothers. Smash. Like I was sitting there, um, I was sitting there like running through the tweet. Yeah. Like the thread and stuff about about Funimation tweeting, and and there were so many people who were just being super super shitty about. No, Goku doesn't deserve to be in Smash. He's not a video game character. And, like, people were like, yeah, by that line, just because he's been on Nintendo systems doesn't mean he should be blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay. I mean, they got Sonic. They got Cloud. Cloud hasn't been on a Nintendo system. Oh, God, you're right. At all. But it was something about, I guess, I guess there were a lot of people who were like, he's a manga character, he's an anime character, he shouldn't be in the game. It's it's like, dude. But Dragon Ball games have been coming out for, like, fucking 25 years or something. Yeah, since, I mean. Dra- since Dragon Ball. Like, they've, they've, been a, they've, been a, they've been a big deal for a while, and it's like, I'm sitting there just thinking, like, you are the reason that this world sucks. Yeah. This it's is people, why we can't have nice things. It's people like you who are down on something for no real good reason. Like, And there was this one person that was arguing, well, he doesn't deserve to be in there because he's not a video game character. Okay, fine, I get that. But <clears throat> At the same time, yes, he is. He totally is. Like, yeah, he may, may not have started as a video game character. Obviously, he started in the, in the Dragon Ball manga back in the 80s. But, I mean, that doesn't mean he doesn't deserve a spot. Mm. And, dude, I totally want, as a fan of Smash Bros. and a fan of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super, I want to see Goku in there. Are you kidding me? Fuck yeah. I, fuck, dude, get throw Goku and Vegeta in Smash. I, I'm at the point now where I'm willing to see just about anybody show up. Like, just give me more characters. Give Yeah, give, give us... Give me more interesting things. Give me some new people. Yeah, yeah. So, how you guys doing today? What's going on? As you can tell, we're uh, kind of uh, talking about Smash Bros. Hell yes. Yeah, I'm Joe. I'm Lou, Ungodly Geeks, yeah. here again. We do the thing every week, get together. I want to apologize to some people in advance. Uh, I forgot to uh, set the video to public last week when it <laughs> went live. So uh, you're probably, let's see, it is Friday now, 8.06 in the morning. So you probably just got the notification that the video went up about 15 minutes prior to me saying this. My bad. I was asleep. I fell asleep that morning early, which is why I schedule all of that shit to post now. So, shit. Yeah, but since it was posted to the Patreon early, right, it ended up not posting not, to everybody. Right, because uh, YouTube is stupid in that you can't schedule a video and still share the link to the video. So, like, I can't, I can't do both. If I want to share the link early to our Patreon, our pa- our patrons on there. I have to set it as unlisted when I upload it rather than schedule it. Because when you schedule it, it's kept private. It's like, can can we have a schedule and unlisting? But of course not because it's YouTube and they don't listen to any other creators. <laughs> why would they do that? Yeah, why would they Why would they listen to the whole reason they have a business model to begin with, right? But that's YouTube. Okay, I, yeah, enough bitching about YouTube. We're going to talk about Smash Brothers. Yes. Oh, yeah, God, yes. Like we just were, like t- for the first two and a half minutes. Yeah. So obviously, Nintendo Direct <clears throat> came out, showed uh, did some short teaser, um, right? Right. But you see that background with lots of characters, and I know there's lots of people that are going in depth, and I even even myself, I took, and I didn't sit there for hours or anything, but I was looking at those images, oh yeah, like piecing yeah. together, and it's pretty. Pretty easy to tell some people. Yeah, I mean, like Samus, like we were discussing. Exactly, Samus yeah. is is she's she got those big super obvious pauldrons? Yeah, no, she has her pauldrons. Those are fucking unmistakable. The sharp yeah. points of her suit, her elbows, and so, uh, Jimmy Neutron is in there. Yeah, yeah, with the curl. I mean, right. that's pretty obvious. Yeah, that no. he's there. Um, hundred percent confirmed. Shrek, <laughs> Shrek is there. Um, no, no, seriously, Jimmy Neutron is not going to be in there. Yeah, no. no that I, would, I doubt a, a canceled Nintendo or a Nickelodeon property is going to make it. Yeah, no. Um, but of course, you know, we're, talking, we're referring to Video Game Donkey's video, which I will link in the video description for those who haven't seen Such it. Such a good video. Oh, Video Game Donkey is hilarious when he really wants to be. Did you see his video today about uh, doing Super Mario, uh, the Luigi's Balloon World uh, thing? Yeah, I didn't watch the <laughs> whole thing. I watched uh, where he's like. 
high, like to the point where he was searching for a couple of the balloons. Yeah, no. And he no. was mocking somebody for like there's not being hidden hard enough. It, like, it was, took a screenshot and tweeted it. <laughs> yeah, it was it was it was a good fun man. Like the whole video is like seven. It's almost eight minutes long. I'll link that video down below too. That uh, that was real fun. Um, it, it was a great fucking episode. Donkey always amuses the hell out of me. Yeah, oh yeah, Donkey's great. Uh, yeah, he's a great creator. He's funny as fuck. But um, Smash. Yes. We're gonna talk about some Smash. What? Oh yes. What do we want to see? One thing that uh, I actually at work we we always talk about this kind of stuff as well. Oh yeah. And we had mentioned like uh, it's definitely going to be Breath of the Wild Link. Oh, that was for sure. in that. Yeah, yeah. No, that that was one hundred percent him. And both of us were like, <clears throat> what they should do is eliminate either Young Link or Two Link, or both, or both, because they're terrible characters. And I, I, I I'm won't sorry. Call them terrible, but they're no, just, no. It's another link. Okay. It's not that different. Yeah, well, that's, that's like the thing for me. It's like I I've been playing I've been playing Smash since not since the, the beginning. I, yeah. I admittedly I haven't, but I've been playing since um since GameCube days, since mm-hmm. Melee. Melee is of course the definitive game, and so I've been playing for a really long while, and um it's like. I've always used Link. Link has always been my my main. I've always ran main, Link as main, and yeah. uh, Toon Link and Young Link have both felt just like bad clones of him because they're just him but weaker. They're him but smaller. They're him but easier to launch, and it's like, dude, they're just not great characters. They're garbage characters in my opinion. So I, I apologize to anybody who mains them. I just don't like them. I, I don't. They play the same as Adult Link or or Link Link, but they're just not good. They're bad. They're really, really bad, in my honest opinion. So yeah, I've never. I'm not a fan of them, um, but I don't. I don't hate them like to that extent. I just don't get why they're there at this point, which is why I'd like to see them well, gone. Hold up, hold up. Don't. Don't mistake criticism for hate. Oh, well, yeah. I'm not saying I hate them. I'm saying I don't. I just don't. I don't like them as 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 they are. As they are, they're bad. Mm-hmm. So I mean that that's all. I don't hate them. Like I still like the characters. I still like that they're there. It's like oh that's cool. You know, a yeah. little nod because of course Young Link is important in Link's timeline, and Toon Link is less important because there's a lot of people who apparently did not like Wind Waker, which I didn't know that people hated Wind Waker so much. I remember people hating it beforehand, and then when they actually played it going, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Wind Waker is amazing. Yeah. Like, like, I, I won't lie. I was disappointed as hell when I saw Wind Waker because I was still going off of that Game Informer um, early release that ended up, I guess they turned that eventually into Twilight Princess, but it yeah. looked like a lot darker. Yeah, you're talking Link's fighting Ganon. Yeah, you're talking about that that video fight they released at E3. Uh, Did you see the video that was like it was yes. like it was like three or four years before before Breath of, that video even came out. Yeah, there was a Game Informer that eventually became that video. Yeah, and then it disappeared. But uh, the images from Game Informer, which, yeah, I, I which were which were so images excited. from that that video they showed yeah. off. Yeah. Uh, that that was actually really cool, and I'm kind of I'm kind of glad they went the direction they did though, because you know that that gave us a lighter, fun game in Wind Waker, and then gave us that dark and that gritty and more realistic game in Twilight Princess, which I still need to finish. I've yeah. completed Wind Waker. Um, I never completed Twilight Princess. I love Twilight Princess. There's a lot of people who don't like that one too, but yeah, I loved when I, I I haven't found one. The only Zelda game I haven't played, <clears throat> other than the some of the handheld ones, was um uh the Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword. Yeah, I've never played Skyward Sword. Either. I didn't care to play another Waggle Stick Zelda. Yeah, and I, I mean, bought I bought Twilight Princess on the GameCube. Yeah. I held out for months yeah. for that to come out, but um that that that's the only place I've played it too, yeah. and that that's one of those games. And I bought it on the Wii U too. Yeah, where they did the HD, the HD remaster or whatever. Yep. Um, I'm actually still tempted to buy it just for the Wolf Link amiibo. Mm. Like just so I can set that up on my shelf with my other amiibos, you know, because I got like I got Smash Link, I've got uh, Smash Zelda, I've got Ganondorf, I've got Samus, uh, Cloud, and uh, Mewtwo, mm. which is it's like it's one of the best looking amiibos too. Yeah. And I'm not I'm not a huge fan of the amiibos. I've got the legacy or the. The Legend of Zelda ones, all all of the uh, right, right history ones. I didn't get any from Breath of the Wild, but my favorite is easily Wolf Link with Minda on top. Yeah, because it's bigger. It's it just looks awesome. And we still have it. Like it's like sixty bucks. I'm like, I'm still yeah. every day I walk by. I'm like, 
I want that. I really want that. Just for the sixty dollar amiibo. Just, just for the amiibo. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about the game because I can't play it. I don't have a Wii U. Yeah. I have no intentions of buying a Wii U. I have no intentions of, of playing the Wii U. I don't like the Wii U. I don't like it has it has its good points. It has praise because without it, we wouldn't have gotten the Switch. And a lot of good games came from the yeah. Wii U. But I I personally I don't like the Wii U. Yeah, it, it's unfortunate. We've talked about the Wii U before, but. My take on it was it, it's not it's not necessarily a bad <laughs> idea, but it was an un it, it wasn't an it was, fully realized. I, I and yeah. I think they put it out too early. The switch is where they were headed, yeah, but they hadn't gotten there yet. And while it's it's usable, um, you basically just throw out the stupid Game Gear controller, grab the pro, I think it was still called the Pro Controller back then. Oh yeah, no, it's and, always been the Pro Controller. And at that point, it's like, okay, no, this is a fun system. Yeah. Um, but when you're not doing that, when you like certain games that make you use that uh, the Game Gear thing, yeah, it's like okay, you, it 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 falls into that realm of gimmickiness. Yeah. And the I mean the Star Fox game is the pinnacle of that's a mistake. Right. You yeah. went wrong. You you. So. you that's a that's the one thing I do want to give the Wii U though is that it was definitely way ahead of its time. Like, <clears throat> um, I it was yeah it, 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 was, it was trying it was, to mix the portability and yeah portability. it was like it was trying to use tech that just wasn't there yet. It was trying to be uh, a home console, a portable console at the same time, but definitely didn't have that set. And yeah, the no. fact that it, it like it was half and half. But not even, not even like a good half and half. It yeah, just, no, uh, it didn't work. It was a, it's a barely a step above the Wii, um, but like a step to the side. Well, it was a, graphically speaking, it was double the Wii's power. It had, sure, it had sure. double I mean, the Wii's power. I just power. mean as far but, as, but uh, as far as, as like fun, uh, yeah. Like I, I, I loved the Wii. I loved my Wii. I had, a, I had the red Mario Wii. I fucking yeah. loved that thing. I still got the controller actually. Um, which reminds me, I still need to fix your Wii. Yeah. But um, I totally, like, I totally loved that thing. And uh, when, the Wii U, when I first saw it, it, it did feel like, like it just, it looked bad. Yeah. Uh, and actually, then, speaking of the Wii specifically, yeah. And getting back on topic, or the Wii U, um, Smash Four for the Wii U, yes, was an example of this could have been a great console. Yeah. If you had focused on being a console instead of all of that other shit. All the gimmicky because crap it they was, tried to be, yeah. It was Smash Brothers. It was exactly what I wanted. It was a balance between Brawl and Melee, which I wasn't a huge fan of Brawl. I thought it became I liked, a little I, bit too floaty. I liked Brawl um, for the subspace emissary. Like the, yeah, the single player the single, the single player campaign in that game was amazing. It was really, really good. Um, that's one thing I'm actually missing from Smash 4, yeah. and probably why I don't play it nearly as much, is there's not a good single-player game like that. It has that rush mode or whatever. Yeah, called, which is okay. Eh, but, I mean, yeah, but, whatever, uh, man. But, I, I, yeah, give me Subspace Emissary back. I'd like, like I would, single player. I would, like, I would like to see that return or, or a game mode like it. Uh, the fact that it had cutscene, and, and it was... It's that level of almost, is it pandering? Is it more like fan service? But seeing my favorite characters from Nintendo interacting and not just fighting each other, but in cutscenes yeah, and working yeah. together. Yeah, like teaming I up love with that. Team, oh, you're I playing a Samus and you're teaming up with Kirby yep. and like Sheik to go defeat King DDD out of nowhere. It's like, absolutely dude, loved that, those cutscenes. That, that was man. brilliant. That's that whole setup that that's what I want. That's what I want from this Smash. Link meeting like, Yoshi and just being like, what the fuck are you? <laughs> like don't get me wrong. Like I love the fighting in Smash. Yeah. Like the fighting is fluid. It's it's tight. It's great. But no, give me more of that. Give me more of the subspace emissary. Yeah, because that was the best part of Brawl. That yeah, was oh, the yeah. best part I, of Brawl. I used to hands play Brawl down. Just for that. Like like I said, it was. Uh, I would switch back to playing melee whenever oh, yeah, I was no, actually no. wanting to play, like with friends and stuff like that. But yeah. subspace emissary was it was actually really good. Yeah, no, that was that was the most fun. That's the most fun I've had with melee with with Smash Bros. Rather besides like playing multiplayer with melee, mm -hmm. like we used to have tons of fun with that. And, like, I don't even have my 3DS right now, so I can't even play Smash 4. Mm -hmm. Like, Jake's borrowing my 3DS right now. So. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't care to either. Like, I mean, I haven't played it in months. I haven't played it. I, like, I bought Smash 4 on the 3DS. Yeah. I bought it on the Wii U and played right. it on that a little bit more. Right. But uh, still, like, I, I didn't want to – I don't – I'm not huge on the DLC characters. Yeah. 
Um, I, I love the fact. I love the characters. I don't like that they're DLC because it, it's something where you didn't ever have that before. Yeah, it's not something you need to make money because this game is going to sell a million, five million copies. Yeah, it's like it's like why? With, it's like with, why are you trying to milk out that much more money? And yeah, they were stupid expensive. Yeah, no, in the they packs. were. Um, it was like six dollars per character. Yeah, and if you got. Um, if you wanted to get the multiplayer packs, it was like $38. Yeah, that was, it's like a few stages and these characters. Go fuck yourself. And some fucking amiibo shit. Like, fuck you, Nintendo. That's bullshit. Yeah, no, like, like at least on the plus side, though, uh, if you went the route of buying the amiibo, you got the character, too. Yeah. So, I mean, if, if it were one of those things where you wanted the amiibo anyway, maybe for the collectability, maybe just because it's cool... For whatever reason, if you bought the amiibo, you at least did unlock the character. Yeah. So that that's kind of that's kind of neat, but it's still like a matter of if you didn't want that amiibo, though, it that would be fifteen dollars for the character, which is even worse. Right. If you got it at retail price, which right. knowing amiibos, you probably didn't. Um, <laughs> they weren't re- they weren't fifteen. They were twelve ninety nine. Oh, twelve nine. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, not that that's much better. Mm-hmm. That's only like two fucking dollar difference, but still, um. I don't know. I, yeah, but uh, I I would like to see the return of Subspace Emissary. Give me give me that mode back, or give me like a single player mode that's like it that plays the same way it did. Um, like I said, that was the best part of Brawl. That was the only thing that made Brawl good, in my opinion. Yeah. Besides the, there was a major bump in graphical fidelity. Like Mario's outfit is way more detailed. Yeah, Brawl looks amazing. That's, Brawl why, looks, that's yeah. why I was so excited for <clears throat> 4 when it came out. It, it just looks great. I mean, 4 um, on 3DS even even looks great. Like, yeah. the stages are nice and detailed, and, like, the characters are, character models are great. The textures are good. Like, nothing. When I'm playing that game, I don't feel like I've missed out on much until you actually do play, like, Smash 4 in 1080p on a big TV. But eh, it's neither here nor there. Yeah, but one thing I did like is that uh, there was that integration between the 3DS and and the uh, Wii I love U, that. I really hope use... they do that again. Yeah, e- where you... without needing a cartridge or something. Yeah, like you could you could do one of two things: you either own the game and you can use it as a controller, or you can uh, you can pay like it was like a dollar I think mm-hmm. to turn your 3DS into a Smash controller. Yeah, and honestly, the 3DS is is halfway decent for that purpose. Oh yeah, like, it if really you don't is. have a bu- and that way you could play. Uh, was it six or eight? Uh, yeah, up to eight players. Yeah, you eight, could play eight, eight players, which um, was awesome. Or no, was it even higher? No, might have been even higher because I think I think uh, I think I think Smash Four goes to like sixteen players, some insanely high number. Oh, maybe I don't yeah. remember. I I didn't think it got that and, high. Uh, but I think I it was, it was awesome. I know, and, and I think you could have like four GameCube player controllers and four Wii U sticks and. You know, a bunch of 3DSs and, and just a bunch of crazy shit. And it's like, why, guys? Why? But, uh, I don't know. You yeah. know, give me some more characters, though. Like, seriously, seriously, give me Goku. For sure. Like, give me well, Goku. Like I was saying, uh, <clears throat> fucking 20 minutes ago or whatever, we talked about Links. Eliminate right. one of the two, either Toon Link or Young Link. Yeah. Create Breath of the Wild Link as a separate Link. Yeah. Because I think it would be awesome if he had, we mentioned, uh, Either his smash abilities or you change his B abilities. You switch those out. For... Well, that would be the smash. Uh, the special I, moves. Oh, I yeah, meant, yeah. I was talking smash. Final smash. Yeah. You include some of that stuff. But if you want to do his his smash moves, his special moves. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, with, yeah. With uh, the powers you get in Breath of the Wild, that would be awesome. Yeah, and bring the char- bring those characters in when you execute them, like yeah. as cameos or something. Because like one, all right, I, re- I read that GameSpot article where they said that uh, inclu- like for new characters in Smash, we'd like to see the champions of of, of Hyrule. And I'm like, yeah. eh, maybe, maybe. If you're going I don't to inc- think they're okay. fleshed out enough to be full characters, personally. Like um, individual characters, I think they would be if because the Champions Ballot DLC goes way into their backstory and fleshes them out. Yeah, okay, but regardless of popularity, that, like, like then. completely, completely ignoring that, mm-hmm. if you're going to do them, um, do them as like in a single character. Yeah, like and, we talked about Pokemon Trainer, and make yeah make them so that you uh, you know you, you switch between them either as like costumes or something because mm-hmm. I, I that would be a lot of crowding. For uh, that would be five characters from a single game, and yeah. while they have done that in the past with like Fire Emblem characters, like you got you got to cut back on that. And I always sit there and it's like, if you're gonna do that, okay, fine, make them one character, give them 
and uh, either work them like ice climbers, or you work them like I think he's a Pokemon trainer, <clears throat> or you you just set them up as different costumes. Yeah, which I don't know how difficult it is. Like obviously, I'm not a game developer. I'm way too lazy for that. I would be willing to see them. I mean, part of the thing is you've got. Like you said, a lot of characters from Legend of Zelda. You've got Link, however many clones of Link you have. Yeah. Sheik, Princess, if they do them separate again. Uh, and Which I actually kind of prefer. Yeah, honestly. I like them separate. Too. Yeah. I did like that. And you got, yeah, you got, like, just the base characters. You got Ganon, Zelda, Sheik, and then Link, Link of Link, course. Link, like. and then one to two other copies of Link. Right, which, and, and at which this I point, mean. You could cut it down to just probably. They all had, I mean, I think every. Which one did they cut Toon Link from one of them? But Toon Link and Young Link, one. Toon Link, Young Link, and Link were all in one game. And it's like, y'all need to chill with the Link. <laughs> I love Link. He is my favorite Nintendo character of all time. Mm. But y'all need to chill with him. Yeah, yeah, I mean, at least have some space for some other stuff. Yeah, no, like, like cut Link and, and give us a new character. You know, make Bayonetta uh, part of the regular ro- roster rather yeah. than the DLC oh, I character. Think she, I, I honestly think that. <clears throat> Both Bayonetta and Cloud are going to be, and maybe not Cloud. Maybe not. Maybe no, not. Cloud, Cloud, but yeah. I think one of the character models that's in that picture they showed yeah. looks like Cloud to me because it looks like he's got anime. Yeah, hair. You, you see, you see the spiky poof hair. Yeah, yeah. I think that's Cloud, but well, not the, not the spiky poof hair, but you see the other spiky poof hair. Yeah, you see and, androgynous anime hair. Yeah, um, which I'd be completely okay with. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I, yeah. See, like I said, I, I'm. I'm down. Like, I didn't like straight up, even get to play as Cloud. Straight up, I, I doubt I Leo loved will Cloud. Be back. Like straight up, I loved Cloud. Yeah. Like he he is a great addition to Smash, mm-hmm. and he quickly became my main in Smash Four. When when yeah. he became available, I'm like, all right, let's see how he goes. And he, yeah, he 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 became my main. He replaced Link as my main. I'll be honest with you. Like he he is that good, and I know that in the Smash meta game, he is one of the highest tiers. Yeah. Because he's got great combos, he hits hard. He's he, you know he dodges well. He has good recovery, so it's like, yeah, he's a he's a pretty good character, and so he very quickly. I, I'd be okay with him coming back. Um, yeah, I still I would still probably jump between him and Link as my main, but no, I mean my main's always gonna be Captain Falcon. He better bring you fucking back too. Yeah, yeah, no, I'd be. Oh, you can't you can't get rid of Captain. He's Falcon. been in every like. I think they'll keep going with characters that have been in every game. Yeah. Um. You know, I, you know, you know, you know, you know. They can get rid of. Huh. They can get rid of Jigglypuff. Get oh uh, yeah, fuck Jigglypuff. I've been saying that for a while too. Get, yeah. get rid of Jigglypuff. There's, there's a, Jigglypuff is always up there in the meta though. Like <clears throat> I don't care. Good people, people who play like are, are really good with Jigglypuff are really fucking good. That being said, I thought I was good at Smash Brothers until I played two people that were like. Met like in like they did tournaments and stuff. <laughs> they weren't like you know champions or whatever, but. Holy shit! I found out I was not good at Smash Brothers. <laughs> yeah, I, when I, I played um, against them. I went online and uh, didn't even get matched with like anybody in Japan. I got yeah. matched with somebody here, and they 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 didn't hand my ass to me, but I definitely lost by yeah. a wide margin. I did. I'll be honest. I did better in Smash Four uh, than I did Mario Kart online. Right. Mario Kart just crushes your crushes my soul. Yeah. Smash. No. I did all right. I could beat a couple of people. Um, but when I played these two guys, and this is this is years back. This is back when Brawl um, was uh, it was still on top, and I don't I don't think we played. Yeah, yeah, we played Brawl specifically, and I was like, yeah, no, I mean, I play with my friends, and I'm one of the best people out of my friends group. We're all pretty good, you know. We'll go in, and these guys are like, oh, well, let's play Smash. Right. Sat down, absolutely destroyed me. Right. And like destroyed me with like Princess Peach, and like not really trying. And I was like, started going hard mode just to even get hits in. Right, right. And it was like, oh, okay, this is what the Smash tournament scene. All right, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, in, I'm not, I'm not good. going to that. No. I'm not. I was like, I'm gonna go back and play with my bros, <laughs> and then I can be like, yeah, I'm good at kicking my buddy J Max ass when he's playing his link. <laughs> right. Yeah. No. I could. I could totally. He's gonna you know, hear this and be like, fuck you. Back in melee, Mewtwo and Link were my characters. Yeah. I. I like. Mewtwo is just my favorite Pokemon of all time, but Mewtwo and Link were my characters, and like everybody hated Mewtwo because of how light he was. Like, nah, man, you you get me. Mewtwo's my, throw, yeah. Used to always Mewtwo's be throws are right. stupidly powerful. If he powerful. grabbed you, his throw was just fucking. If he grabbed you, like the, he he has one weak throw and it's his forward throw, mm-hmm. but yeah, you, you you hit his back throw, you're 
flying, yeah, dude. Like, it, it was it a, used to be my go-to if I was fucking around and playing as Mewtwo. Yeah. That was my go-to. Yeah, you, I, just, you just grab them and throw them, and that's it, and you just keep doing that, and eventually you'll kill them. Charge dude. up that blast. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I used I used Shadow Ball a lot. In fact, one of the things that my buddy Greg and I would like to do when we played uh, our our other buddies, we would like we would team up, we'd play teams. He'd be Link, I'd be Mewtwo. I would charge up Shadow Ball, and we would just attack and you know whatever. And then if at some point he would throw somebody into the air, and I'd hit him with the Shadow Ball and kill him. Nice. I was like, yeah, no, we were we were pretty good about that, mm-hmm. and we were good at throwing items too. Like that was one thing. That you never wanted to play with us on, like if we had items, any sort of explosives, you were dying. Mm-hmm. Like we, like obviously we're not Smash tournament level players, but like at that point, you know, you you go flying. I'd hit you with a bomb. I hit you with a sword. I'd hit you with a, a flower. You, you yeah. it's over. And that, I, I'm still I, picking up the flower, <clears throat> beating people with it. <laughs> yeah, we got we got pretty good at at hitting people midair. And the next thing we were working on was catching items in midair, which we got pretty good at too. Mm-hmm. And then we stopped playing because we all went our own separate ways. Yeah, and that that's was, how it goes. Usually. Yeah, that was kind of shitty, but you know, yeah, I, I have so many fond memories of that. But uh, yeah, no, Mew, I, I'd like to see Mewtwo return. Like, I'm glad that he did come back in Smash Four, and he was a DLC character, unfortunately, and I did buy him. But I, I'd like I to think see there him. Was, come back. Was there, there was some way you got him for free too, and I don't remember. I think with the pre-order or something like that. Or, uh, maybe I, I, don't, I don't know. I um, thought there was something. Maybe maybe one of the Pokemon games. If you bought the 3DS version and the um, oh, did you Wii U version? You I got, believe you either got him for free, or if you bought the DLC on one, you got it on the other. No, uh, it was something. Well, like yeah, that. there was definitely that. Like like on the 3DS, you could yeah. buy the DLC for both systems. Yeah, maybe it was maybe it, it was, was like bad. an extra. It was like an extra dollar or two. Oh. But like, yeah, if you wanted to buy, like, and then that was one of those things. Like, oh shit, I should have done that and could give Luke the download code, and he could have had whatever character <laughs> I bought. And I hadn't thought about that at the time because you had the Wii U. We were we we played it like what twice? Yeah, out to yeah, yeah, something like that. And I, it's it's annoying. That was one of the faults of the Wii U. Is any time you drag it around, you got so much to take, and then um, you also have to. Uh, in our case, we were taking around the the box for uh, GameCube controllers. Yeah, because I personally prefer to play it with GameCube controllers. I still I still have my GameCube controller. Yeah, and I've got a couple. I've got a, they're remakes, but they're pretty good. Mine's an original, but it um, it it stick is worn down a bit. Like yeah. the grip on the stick is worn down, which is a, a huge issue for I the baby smack. ate the sticks off of mine. Yeah, like that's a huge issue for the. Uh, for the the melee community is that uh game controllers like actual gamecube controllers which are the best mm-hmm. are slowly <clears throat> dying like they're yeah. going away oh, yeah. there's no one to mix them anymore and nintendo doesn't make them they don't have spare parts so it's getting it's getting harder to to stay competitive in the original smashing thankfully there's, there there are remakes that are pretty good they're yeah, not yeah. they're not perfect they're but. nowhere near they're they're like if like okay, if if the GameCube controllers the original ones are like A's, like you know, like yeah. on a A to F's, like they're probably like B minuses, which is pre- still pretty good. But I mean, obviously, nothing's ever going to beat the original. No. So I mean, and original GameCube controller is still really fantastic. Okay. If I had a way to use it on my computer um, that didn't require a bunch of weird setups and shit, I totally would. I I, I think with the uh, I bought a third party. Because you like when they came out when Nintendo released the uh, GameCube controller adapter for the Wii U yeah. as like a fucking afterthought. Once again, they made like four of them, so it was almost impossible to get your hands on. So I bought a third party one that worked perfectly fine, and it also had a USB connection, so you could plug it into a PC. Right. Yeah. Uh, I never well, I tried mean, it though. That's how it plugged into the uh, Wii or the yeah. Wii or the Wii U, wasn't it? Wasn't it USB? Yeah. 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 But because, uh, it, uh, it, you could switch it between PC and uh, Wii U. Yeah, that's kind of neat. I don't know if that would work because you know that's just my luck. Yeah, oh, and yeah, Windows course. Ten too. So you I know. don't even know where the damn thing is. Right. Uh, so that that's always going to be an issue. Eventually, but. I need to pull it out. I like. I'd like to play. I'm. I'm excited for the Switch <laughs> version because, like I've said before, I like the Pro Controller. Oh yeah. I think it'll be pretty good for Smash Brothers. Not perfect. Now you, you can't get away from that giant A button. And my love for it. Yeah, no, GameCube I mean that, that was why. That's why melee is preferred. You know, yeah. and that's why. That's why everyone plays melee, and that's why everyone uses the GameCube controllers. Because that made was, it not feel like such a generic fighting game, like yeah. Street Fighter or in like any of the others. I mean, it felt it felt 
I mean, solely it's, you sit it's there thing. you hold that controller and everything is so within your reach everything you need it's just right there you you need to jump you press you know if you're not one of the people that use up on the control stick which i used x because it was just easy I to do too. yeah uh you know you move your you move your thumb like two millimeters boom there you go you need to hit a special attack you move your thumb two millimeters boom it's like it's like right there everything is within such easy reach and your main attack button is giant fucking a button so it's yep. like boom there you go and <clears throat> I'm so nostalgic now. I want to play. Yeah, it's I a great play. controller. I, I can't do it. Though. I can't. I can't do it, guys. I don't have a way to play it. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, I could totally emulate a GameCube. I think I still have a copy of Melee. Right. Uh, I'd have to see if it works because the disc it, it looks beaten to hell. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I slept. Uh, I slept four on the Wii. That was one of those you. things that like I'm trying to. Uh, I'm really hoping. Uh, comes along because you know there's dolphin the emulator yeah and uh Don't like it's my better. shield tv can play it like but uh it's not full speed for a lot of games yet but they're working on it they're getting it there mm-hmm. and i i would love to like you know plug a controller into my shield tv and sit there and play smash on there like it won't obviously be anywhere near as good an experience but it doesn't matter like i'm playing yeah. smash now i can i can adjust i can adapt i can overcome <laughs> adapt <clears throat> overcome you will overcome yeah no totally like i can totally sit there and make it so, okay so uh dream characters uh, obviously we got goku oh yeah is there I, another I would, is I would there somebody that. else that you'd like to see in here not necessarily – not you know, it could be re- – really, we could do absolutely anything. Right. Um, but maybe something sort of realistic um, in the realm of I, possibility. I would like to see Snake come back, Solid Snake. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to see that. Snake – I wasn't ever good with Snake. I didn't think he was very good, period. Right. But he was fun as fuck to play. Yeah, no. Because yeah, he I, basically set traps and shit for Like, re- like for people. me, it's just like, like I want to see some returning characters. Mm-hmm. So I'd, I'd like to see Snake come back. Mm. I like to see Snake make a return in this game because he wasn't in Smash Four, but he was in. Well, he was in Brawl. He was in Brawl. I, I like to see him come back. Um, also, some of the greatest cutscenes with him. Yeah, like you said in the emissary when uh, I can't remember who. I think it's Pikachu right. who notices him in the box, and then he like dramatic reveals like, "Yeah, I've been here the whole time," and it's like dun 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 dun. <laughs> it was so good, man. Um, I I'd, I'd like to see like we already had Mega Man. I'd like to see oh, Mega Man, Man X Zero. or Zero. Yeah. Yep. Like, I'd like to see one of those two pop Zero up. Zero was one of mine. Um, if I'm going to choose another Mega Man character, we're going to stay in that theme. I'd like to see uh, Proto Man or Bass. Was Bass the one that used the gun that didn't charge? Uh, he was the one that was – like he was black and green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'd, li- I'd like to see him. That'd be Or brown and green. I don't know. He was weird colored. Yeah. He'd be cool to have. Um, and But uh, let me let me see – we don't have to stick strictly to Nintendo characters. No, uh, no, because one of mine is not at all like. Okay, it's, so it's never so been on like, console, I, or Nintendo I, console. I would like um, since we we've already had one Final Fantasy character. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd like to see them go with like Zidane from Final Fantasy IX. Uh, Zidane is just a fun character. He's a goofy motherfucker. I think he'd fit right in with the roster, mm-hmm. especially if they did a subspace emissary type thing again. He'd fit right in with the cutscenes because he was just he was. He, that's his character. He's just goofy yeah. and fun and lighthearted as hell. Um, uh, <clears throat> he's not necessarily a dream character, but if yeah. if the possibility was ever there, I'd like to see it. Uh, eh. Honestly, my 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 outside dream character, yeah, and it wouldn't have even come to my mind had some recent news not dropped about Geralt being in uh, Soul Calibur uh, Soul 6. Calibur. Which, Geralt okay, for me by the Smash, way, just because. The, by the way, that's just going to make me buy Soul Calibur oh, yeah. 6 now. The, you, congratulations, you also, got my money. yes, give me Geralt and fucking Geralt Smash, Smash Bros. Like, he doesn't fit at all, no, and that's no, part of the doesn't. beauty of it. That, that's why, so yeah, good. that would be why it would, so, would be so great. Like, just, yeah, just gave me that. Um, <clears throat> uh, I, I, You know what? This is this This may not work for some people. I'd like to see Vincent from Final Fantasy 7 pop up. Since we've already had one Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy character. 7 character. Yeah, give me Vincent. Vincent would be a cool character, I think. I think he'd, you know, he's, he uses his gun, he has his transformation, so he has a, like a Final Smash type deal. I'm kind of surprised. Maybe it's because there's no, there's not as many um, well-known characters from it. Yeah. But there are, there have been Final Fantasy games on Nintendo, the Crystal... Um, 
Crystal you know, Chronicles. Give me, give me Cecil tri- from um, Final Fantasy IV. Tactics. That'd be cool. Give me Cecil from Final Fantasy yeah. IV. Or like, be... it's go go even to older school. Yeah, like that. Like that. That would be cool. I mean, but I don't know. I maybe I, I've never played those games. I never <clears> played any Final Fantasy, so I right. I wonder if one of those characters is, you know, noteworthy enough um, to come from. Give us Chrono from Chrono Trigger. Uh, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know? was also thinking, uh, give me like Lloyd or uh, one of the characters from um, Tales. The Tales oh yeah, series. yeah, Tales of Symphonia. Yeah, get mm-hmm. Lloyd, uh, Gino, uh, fucking Sheena. Sheena be a bad. She's just a fucking ninja with big tits. That'd be awesome. You already have Bayonetta. Give us a ninja with big yeah. tits. You know, she summons monsters and shit. That'd I think be cool. if they could get that, they you know get two or two characters. From hey, the isn't that a, isn't that a Bandai Namco game? Yeah, I, I think so. So I mean, and Bandai Namco is making Metroid Prime. So fuck it, why not? Another outside character that totally fits. Yeah, and with recent news. Crash. Yeah, I'd be cool with Crash. Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. Would be really fucking interesting to see. On, Especially uh, since Smash they're, you know, they're, they're uh, sitting there and porting the Insane Trilogy to, mm-hmm. to all the systems now, apparently. Yeah. So that'd be, you know, um, talking about indie titles, you, you mentioned oh, yeah, Shovel Knight. Oh, totally. Give me indie Give characters. Give me Shovel Knight. Was he in 4? No. Uh, okay, I thought there was something about buying his Amiibo and getting... No, no, no. Getting, maybe it was you got the like access to... The DLC or something like that. No, no, no. There was no, um, no, he wasn't. It. That would be really cool. Like, um, the GameSpot article I read uh, actually mentioned that, and his reasoning, the, the person who wrote that that particular entry was, I just wanted to hit Kirby with a shovel, and it's like, you know what? Yeah. I completely relate to that. I would also <laughs> love to hit Kirby with See, a shovel. I want to knee Captain Luigi with a shovel. Right? Yeah. You know, <laughs> beat up Cap- beat up Captain Falcon with a shovel. Oh, I, how that. amazing would that be? <laughs> like fight, sit there and like sword fight with Link, and you have a, a shovel. shovel. Yeah, like come on, dude. Yeah, that is awesome on its own. I want that. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they should try yeah. and pull from the indie market. And like There's and a whole lot of indie. Sit there and, and give us like as alternate costumes. Give the other knights like Plague Knight oh, or yeah. uh, King Knight or something like that. That'd be really which is something cool. with Smash Four. The alternate costume yeah. really did <clears throat> alter the characters. Like yeah, you could change the character from male to female. With right. The, yeah. With uh, Robin. With uh, Robin. Robin and Corrin. Robin and Corrin. You could you could change the yeah. yeah. And honestly, that's the way it works in Fire Emblem Warriors. So you get the different costumes, and it's just the gender swap. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, that's cool. And like, even in that game, um, you can face like the different characters as antagonists on certain maps, mm-hmm. and sometimes they're male, sometimes they're female. Yeah. And I think it's just it depends on uh, which one of the twins you chose to begin again. Gender fluid. Yeah. <laughs> In a way, because, you know, Corrin and uh, Robin, are, but they both serve, like, the same purpose where, yeah. you know. They're your stand-in for your character. Yeah, they're your avatar, so they mm-hmm. can be male or female. They have long, Should short hair, whatever. But uh, <clears throat> I'd like to see I'd like to see Corrin from Fire Emblem become a standard character yeah. rather than. Um, I hate to say this, but uh, Lucina was in the game, she right? She was, yeah. She's my, she's my favorite it. Fire Emblem character. Oh, I'm um, sorry, yeah. Uh, drop her. Yeah. Either drop her or uh, or drop like Roy Marth. Drop drop one of those characters. Um, I think you pull out. You get an older Fire Emblem character. I want to see Lin. I oh dude, Lin Lin, like, Lin would be awesome. Lin I want to see more of a okay because no. they keep going with the scratch the that knights. Lin is my favorite Fire Emblem character. Yeah, I want to see them go with like a, a Blade Master from dude, Fire yeah. Emblem or a, a full on a general. Even though there was never a, like a main character who was a general, there. Uh, I mean, Hector came pretty close from the original yeah, GBA when release. You, when you I mean, you get him upgrade. He's just big, stupid, he got big and heavy. Yeah, but I'd love to see a general. I Fire. thought um, <clears throat> Fire Emblem Awakening. Uh, you could, and there were the uh, Xenologues, where you could get bonus characters, mm-hmm. and um, one of them was the. How far did that game? Did you beat that game? Complete the game? Uh, Awakening? not completely. Did you get to the part where you're fighting Walhart, big red dude on the horse? Yeah. You can get him as a character. Oh, okay. I'd like to see him. That'd be Because he's stupidly OP. Yeah. But, uh, no, give me Lin. Like, that... Fuck the rest of the Fire Emblem cast. Give me her. <laughs> Swap out for her. She's give a me cool her. character. I, would, I mean... I, like I said, <clears throat> a Blade Master type character, a speedy um, character like her. If you're gonna If you're gonna go down that route, Navarro would also be a pretty good... A pretty good, uh... A uh, candidate for that, like I'd be okay with him if I didn't get Lin. Because I mean, like in Warriors, Lin is seriously hands down the best character. Mm-hmm. Like you go into the game, you're playing it. If you're playing as her, <clears throat> unless the enemy greatly outclasses you level wise, 
you will kill whatever is in front of you. Mm -hmm. Like she, she hits hard enough and fast enough that it does not matter. It genuinely does not matter. Even if you're at a disadvantage, like you're fighting somebody with either sword breaker or you're fighting somebody with a lance, it does not matter. She will kill whatever's in front of her. <laughs> like that's been my experience with her, and that's why she's my highest level character by far. Yeah. She's like a hundred and like nineteen, a hundred and twenty. My next highest level character is Navar, who is basically a male clone of her. <clears throat> and he's like a hundred and hundred and six, hundred and eight. And then the next highest level is Takami, who is an archer from Conquest and Fates. He's one of the uh he's one of the nobles. Um, in the Hashidin house, mm -hmm. he's pretty good. He's the one I use to power Lin up, because uh, like there's a map where you get the scroll for Lin's weapon, and the scroll increases it from eighty to two forty. And I ha you have to use bows on this map, and he was the only one I could get it to go with. <laughs> so he's only as powerful as he is because I really wanted to power up Lin. Yeah, and. She has seriously been like she. She's the only reason I enjoy the game anymore, <laughs> just because I get to beat people up with her. Ah, uh, Dynasty Warriors. <clears throat> um, you know, I was thinking actually a character I thought would be in uh, Smash Four that wasn't. I thought they were going to put Crystal in there from mm -hmm. uh, Star Fox. Oh, because I mean, you I had don't know who Star that is. Wolf. I don't uh, know who that is. Do you remember Star Fox Adventures? No, I never played it. Oh, okay. I never got to the play it. The furry bait character. Oh. Eh. Yeah. She rocks around in a uh, Princess uh, Leia bikini. Uh, you <laughs> can, you can skip that. I'm good. I no, did, but honestly, I would like... But she was a character that, it, since they had done Star Wolf, they had had Falco, I thought they'd put her in there, because you're not going to fucking put Slippy Toad or the giant rabbit in there. Nah, fuck those guys. Nah. No, you know what? Give me Star Wolf, though. Bring him back. I thought Star Wolf was cool. Yeah, no, he was like a harder-hitting fox. Yeah, I although I didn't like that Star Wolf... Falco and Fox were all in the same game. Yeah, I didn't yeah. see a point to having three of them. in Well, there. it's the same thing with the Fire Emblem characters. Though. Yeah, like you got you got you got Robin, you got Lucina, you got Robin Marth. Is different though, Marth, Roy, and um, I mean Roy uh, and Marth are different enough. Or, I'm sorry, that they're Roy fine. And, uh, but uh, but Marth and Lucina are super close guy? together. The one who hits hard. Uh, is that, am I just thinking of Roy? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, in the Was last there game, one other. Fire Emblem character. In the last game, they were going to include Chrome. Chrome, yeah. But they didn't because yeah. uh, he, it would just be another. It, oh, that's what I'm saying. It would have been Lucina. another Roy. Yeah, it would have been Lucina, actually. Well, because he they, gets harder than everyone Well, else. yeah, but it would have been basically Lucina. It, he would have been a clone of Lucina. Okay. Is basically what would have ended up happening because uh, they're basically clones of each other. Yeah, they're all very similar characters with, like, slight differences. Right. But I did, yeah, Robin, you're right, though, because Robin, Robin added a whole new element yeah. to the game. Like, she was at, he she she he was actually different enough from Marth and uh, Lucina and whoever they else had completely different abilities. Yeah, which I did like. And that's why I'd, I'm, I'm, I'm I'd like to see Lynn, but I'd like to bring yeah, bring back Star Wolf. That'd be cool. Mm. But yeah, I mean, it's that, the thing well, with Star Fox characters is that <coughs> there's not really a lot of different characters. Yeah, whereas like Zelda, Legend of Zelda, like. You well, get Link, you get Zelda, you get Ganondorf. That's three very different characters. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, and Shink. So you have four completely different characters. Yeah. But see, that's, that's the problem I take with all the Links they've included, though. Oh, I'm not talking about them. I'm right. talking about specifically from that series. You can get lots of different characters. Well, I mean... Why they never made anybody play different from Fire Emblem and from Star Fox. Right, well, that, that's the point that I'm making, though, to go back to me saying, we'll get rid of those characters. Yeah. Because, you know, like you said, let's get some variety up in there. Yeah. Because, you know, like I said, Link and Toon Link were just... Young Link and Toon Link were just weaker versions of Link. Yeah. They couldn't hit as hard. They couldn't... But they had the same moveset. They had slightly different other things that were powerful. Link, to, right. I know young Link fired a fire uh, fire yeah. arrows. In, yeah, he uh, fired fire arrows, which and melee, then, uh, I think. And then Toon Link, uh, I I don't know. He didn't fire anything special compared to the did other two. Something different. I don't remember what it was. He but it's like, quirks, but they all but... they all had like, but they were all like pretty much the same character. Yeah. Just the other two were weaker than, you know, adult Link. The, I think. the spin yep. attacks were different. Oh um, uh, yeah, I know their bombs acted. They're just their special attacks. No, their bombs are the same, but their their uh, their their spin attacks did act differently. Like Toon Link's bomb was more powerful. Toon Link a little bit. Yeah. I, that was, but that's seriously all the differences were. They yeah. the spin attack was the only thing that acted different. Like one of them it wasn't. Links would knock people away. Yeah, Link, Toon Link, Link's Link's kept hit you. hard. Um, and then Young Links was the one that would hit you and keep you in the spin. Yeah. It would keep you in the spin, and then I don't fucking know what Toon Links did. It was probably. 
both. I don't care. It, it's the same. It but yeah, it's it's something where you know I I I don't mind having those extra kind of copy characters, but right. I don't want so many of them. Yeah, especially like, like when if you're you've gonna got... include them, make them like alternate costumes. Yeah, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, like like make me hit the X button eight times on Lucina to play as Crom or whatever. Like yeah. Uh, like Marth, I get though he's like a he 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 does play differently from Lucina. Mm-hmm. Like Lucina, the power is in like she's she's the Roy of the game. Yeah, where her the power is in her blade, like towards the center, towards the beginning. Whereas uh, Marth is Marth is the, a it, quicker character. She's well, all strength. And, yeah, and well, his the strength of his lies in the tip of his blade rather than the length of his blade. So mm-hmm. he's much better at poking. Because that's the, he has a rapier, so that's yeah. kind of what he does. But I, 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 I wouldn't mind seeing Marth return, but give us a little more variety on the other ends. Like that was the thing. Like Lynn, like you said, she's really fast. So yeah. give us Lynn, give us Navar, give us a, a swordsman like that. Give us an axe user. Yeah. From Fire Emblem, you know, give give us Hector or uh, I don't know. Give us like one of the knights with an axe. That'd be kind of cool. You know, a little, a little something different. Uh, <clears throat> I, I can't think of any other characters right off the top of my head right now I'd like to see. But I could think of a few, like, stages I'd like to see. Mm. Like, um, I'd like uh, a couple more, like, a couple, couple Fire Emblem-type stages. Like, uh, give me, like, Lynn's castle as a stage. That'd be kind of neat. If you're going to include Lynn, give us her castle. You know, the, the well, the mark... That was the problem with Fire Emblem Or her planes. They're very, um... They're like I liked the castle yeah. in four. Yeah. Uh the one that would like collapse and stuff. Yeah, right. and it, it kept kind of it kept moving around and stuff. But um I mean they're 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 kinda of generic to a lot of other stuff. That's that's very true, but you know, like if you're gonna include those characters, include the like a stage for them. I think it'd be interesting if like you just mentioned Lynn's planes. If uh in the battle, like if you were in a village or something and it gets attacked by brigands that just run in, those those axe guys. Yeah. And they just run in and they can like infect uh, impact the fight and annoy you and shit. That'd be funny too. Which yeah, they could be they could be total obstacles. Yeah, it's like, just NPCs uh, like, like the Pokemon who show up in uh, some of the uh, some of them. Yeah, or like uh, like rocks and shit in the mm-hmm. waterfall levels, and all they like shit falls on you, and like the DK levels and shit. Like that'd be. I loved. Uh, I love that you could fight certain certain levels in brawl, or I mean in uh, four. There would be a like literal enemy who showed up that yeah. you know you're fighting each other. Then you can fight off this thing like uh, like Ridley. I think was in one level. Yeah, Ridley's in one um, of them. There was a um, couple Pokemon in uh, in. Um... Uh, in the Midgar stage, you can summon like you can have summons where like you'll summon Bahamut or some shit, and Bahamut yeah. will just come up and split the level in half and blow everything up. Um, isn't there like I want to say there's something in Shulk stage where that pops up too? Uh, I think it's a giant robot. Yeah, yeah, like a you giant. You have to fight off. Yeah, and uh, and that can, stage was fucking huge too. That's that, that's a big stage. Um, and, and there's a lot of space to just fall down and actually, die. Actually, you know what? I don't think you could fight Rakuza or whatever Pokemon was in one of the Pokemon stages. It was one of the God Pokemon. Yeah, they and just it would pop up and fire attack. a giant beam. Yeah, or, just to show up and attack. Yeah, they just show up randomly and attack. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, uh, or the everybody state everybody dodge this. <clears throat> yeah, fuck you guys, and if you don't, you're dead. Exactly. Exactly. Um, some other stages I like to see, like, you know, we have like the Mushroom Kingdom stages and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> I'd like to see some more locations from Mario. You know, give us like uh, Super Mario Galaxy or some shit like oh, that. Oh, I'm sure that they, because they, in the last game, they had stages from... Um, give us New Donk City. Yeah, oh, I'm sure, like like I said, new, I'm sure we'll get New Donk City. Right. I'm, I think we'll probably get something from Galaxy. Well, no, you got a Galaxy stage in... In four, so maybe it'll come back. But there was a, a planet, and you could run like all the way around it. I did not know that. Yeah, it might have. There were certain stages that were only on the Wii U, right? So that might have been one of them. Yeah, but right. yeah, there was a Galaxy stage, um, which would I actually there was make sense. A, there was a, a Mario, the one where you shot water. Uh, oh, are you talking about Sunshine? Sunshine. Yeah. I think there was a Sunshine stage in. Shit, that might have gone all the way back to Brawl. But um, like I I only live I yeah, literally give me New Donk City, give me um a hat stage or whatever, <laughs> you know uh give me uh give me like uh like one that give me the Divine Beast. 
I'd love to fight inside of the Divine Beast. To fight a match inside oh, of the Divine yes. Beast. Like, dude. To fight on top, or like on top of the. Yeah. Um, like the one in the volcano. Mm-hmm. Like, you're just sitting there, you're fighting, and everything. Oh, the now whole then, stage can lower in the volcano. Kinda right. Like, uh, kind of like a uh, uh, Brinstar. Yeah. Yeah, like, dude, that would be so cool. You're sitting there type on. Like, you're fighting on top of the elephant or something, and if you're not careful, you get, like, pushed off by a waterfall that would be interesting if the way the stage if it you know the, all the st- lots of different stages change and turn into like other things yeah is if you know that thing lowered into the lava you had to jump on a rock and then that the for some reason the rock got blasted over and you landed on to the elephant and then it could like it's nose yeah ran, and that would go be... over and land on the camel and that that would be amazing for a stage that would look great and each one would have like their each one could have like their own uh, their own hazards yeah like, the, with the, the like fucking, with the camel the bosses could show you sit up. there you get lightning struck by mm. lightning or like you see how the like the different forms of cannon could show up mm. and just randomly throw shit at you and attack you or that could be where you throw in the heroes and the heroes could show up and help. Yeah, they, their, they could have their cameos or something. Yeah. yeah, instead of making them a fighter, have them pop up as a cameo instead. Yeah. That. I, I I actually think I'd prefer that better. And then you take, like you said, with like we were saying with uh, with Breath of the Wild, Link, mm-hmm. you know, make his different uh, his different moves. Use uh, those moves from the game, and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see their spirit, the way he does in Breath of the Wild, <clears throat> right? Like when Mifa revives him, she pops up out of him as a ghost, yeah. and he pops back to life. Or uh, you know when you sit there and you you have the rook's protection and yeah. he pops up and blocks. Her. Yeah, <laughs> I think okay. So here's like I don't know if they could implement this, but f- like if you go deep into Breath of the Wild, Link, make it so you remember how you know how Peach spawns with uh, her, her forward. Um, I think it's her forward B attack. Uh, where she swings a pan or a golf club. Yeah, yeah, she, like swings, she swings different ra- – yeah, so random, it's forward B, yeah. You make it, it so Breath of the Wild Link spawns with a random weapon. Yeah. That has – that can break. That it breaks and he pulls out a new weapon <laughs> and he just – that would be more semant- – like it would just be for – uh, I I don't visual. see why I don't see why they because couldn't. it would be interesting. Yeah, I don't oh, see yeah. why they couldn't like even that. Uh, or have one of his B B moves be he could swap weapons like he could swap to a well, spear. See, I, I, no, I, I I don't know how they would implement that because like you have to put the specials on on that like so. Well, here's the thing: is I don't think all those specials work for a smash. I on uh, his you know, his up B is total uh totally Rivali's game. Is Rivali's game. Yeah. You I don't think you need Mimfa's whatever Mimfa's the fuck Grace, Mimfa's yeah. Grace is one. That could be like a that could be that, that could be or incorporated into a final smash type attack. Well, I was going to say you have these different weapons that you can pull up. Give Actually, him like 3 or 4. I have a his better final idea. smash, he pulls out the fully upgraded master sword and it does massive amounts of damage. Or for his final smash he summons the four guardians and they fire their laser beam into him. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's good that, too. That just that literally just occurred to me. Like, no, that's what and it needs to you, be. You could do it where you can either <clears throat> it can go straight across the stage, or like certain characters when they aim their uh, they got to aim the final smash. Right. Um, part of the thing I I like I, I think they need to balance final smashes more and say yeah, yeah. either they're going to be fuck all powerful. Or everybody gets knocked down to like uh, fucking Luigi's status, or some of the characters who didn't really have a chance. Yeah, like um, Fo- uh, uh, not Fox. Um, in, in Brawl, Sonic's. Yeah, it, it was garbage. Pikachu's was garbage. He just right. kind of floats around the screen, and if you don't, if people dodge well enough, they you just do nothing. Right. Or um, I, yeah, like I, snakes I, shot grenades, but then you have characters like. Uh, Ganondorf, who covered an entire screen, or, or um, Fox's tank. Yeah, like there, there were definitely uh, some of the issues with the final smash. Like, yeah. like Mario's final smash, he fucking charges up a bunch of fireballs, F- covered and they the entire cover, screen. Yeah, they, you cover like not the entire. I think it's like ninety percent of the yeah. screen. It's just fireballs. Um, like links, you you had to hit somebody, but it was an instant kill. Same thing with Captain Falcons. Yeah. And with Captain Falcons and links, you could get multiple people. Yeah. Same thing with like Marth and Roy, the, right. the Fire Emblem characters. I Same. think, I think they should if they're doing it. You know, you make it powerful. Either the beam goes across, or you know, he gets a master sword that's like an instant, nearly instant smash. Yeah. Knock off. Uh, that sort of thing. I I would. But be... I think there needs to be some work on balancing final smashes if they're going to be in it at all. 
which I'm I'm up in the air. I think they're cinematically cool. Right. As far as a match goes, I don't really like them. I um yeah I I honestly I've never relied on them too much. No. It it's way too much chance. I typically honestly. if I'm playing like if I'm playing with friends like. Uh, if we're playing a serious match, we turn those off. Yeah. If we're goofing around, um, I like the fact that they spawn multiple times. Yeah. If they only spawn like once per match, like uh, certain things, then I I wouldn't like them I think even it depend- for goofing. I think it depends on the type of match. Yeah. Like, when we're goofing around, it's fun. Like yeah. Oh, you know, because I I still remember the last time I think we were playing when I took a uh, trip up to Michigan. Right. Um. There were they were either four or five of us were playing at the same time. And one of my buddies who always plays Pikachu, and he's a douchebag with Pikachu, because we also play at like 1.5 to 2.0 damage. Oh yeah! So everyone gets you smashed off to. quick. Yeah. So he's hitting this fucking smash ball, and Pikachu doesn't do a lot of stat damage. So he smacks the shit out of it 10, 15 times, and then me playing Captain Falcon or my buddy playing Link will just <laughs> run up and tap it and get the smash power. <laughs> <laughs> And fucking wreck everybody. I don't know. I, I, I like I like it when you're just goofing off. Yeah. Overall, uh, I wasn't – I'm not, like, super into the Smash Balls. I, I Honestly, I think we could do without them. Yeah. Or find a different way to, to execute them. Um, you know, like like charge it up, have a meter or something. Something like that. Like, like kind of like, – okay, kind of like how um, Cloud's uh, limit breaks work. The more damage he takes um, – the more he gets a little – his limit bar goes up, right? He's similar to um, uh, uh, Little Mac then. Well, yeah, like the more damage he takes. Mm-hmm. And basically um, all it does – like you can still do all the same limit breaks. But mm-hmm. when you are – when your limit bar is maxed out and it, it, it increases with you doing damage and with you taking damage, mm-hmm. um, they hit much, much harder. Well, it's like Little Mac super. Yeah, it, it, when it's maxed out and the dude's telling you go for it, little Mac, he fucking smashes the shit out of people. Yeah. By the way, little Mac, uh, I like some of the characters that I love the most in four, and not really my favorite to play. Um, little Mac and Mega Man, just because they were so different. Yeah. From anything that yeah. had been in there before, yeah. Little Mac was just a joy. To play. Well, that's why I said, you know, if we're gonna do Mega Man, give me Mega Man X or Zero. Yeah, I or think both zero would be really cool. Yeah, because I, X. New brand new powers, lots of different powers that could throw. Oh in there. yeah, oh my god, that would be really interesting. Like there's tons, you know, because there's been, I mean, there's been as many uh, regular game, nor, uh, normal Mega Man games. Yeah. So there's just been X games, but yeah, there's just so, so many like shotgun ice, you know, boom, yeah. I mean, free I, somebody. I'm fine with if they did stick with just regular Mega Man, but yeah, bring me in Zero. I I, I would love to see. Mega Man X in there. It's just I, I could go either way. Yeah. I just like Mega Man's in it. I want Mega Man to come back. I want. I definitely would like Zero. Yeah. yeah I, I'd like a few Mega Man stages to pop up. Like we had Doctor Wily's tower, and that's really cool. I'd mm-hmm. like to see Sigma's tower because I don't think that was in there. Uh, <clears throat> the Sigma stage. Oh no, because Sigma doesn't technically exist in regular Mega Man. You no, know, yeah, you're just Mega Man X. It's so just the like, next villain. Yeah. But I'd like to see it thrown in there anyway. Mm-hmm. Um. I'd like to see uh, like one level I enjoyed uh, playing was the uh, the um, fuck Storm Eagle stage mm-hmm. that was pretty cool. Uh, Frost Penguin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, fuck that guy. Oh man, I love Mega Man X. Um, uh, something that I uh, I was I can't remember who it was if it was Jim Sterling in his podcast or they were talking about possibilities for. The Squidlings power, because obviously Squidlings are going to be in there. Of course, they're in that trailer. I mean, yeah, uh, th- that's cool. And that's um, that's the new big thing now. Like they're big and they're they're important. So yeah, yeah no, of course they're going to be in there. And that Nintendo is pushing them quite a bit. Yeah. Um, which I think it'd be interesting to see if you can cover the stage in ink and then turn into a little squid to get away from enemies. That'd be that'd be cool. really cool. Um, but do you think they would give Mario? His hat from uh, Odyssey, dude. Like, could you could dude. you throw his hat and control people dude. for like a limited time? Cappy, that would be so great. Throw Cappy it? in there, yes, I would love that. Or, or if it if they kind of turn Mario into like a proto Kirby, where he throws his hat at Link, and then it comes back, and you see Mario with a Link hat with eyes, and then Mario's fucking. Using a master sword or throwing uh, or shooting a bow or something like that. Using a fire rod. I'd be so yeah. Oh yeah. oh yeah. You yeah. could go. You could go yeah. way out there and he could pull I mean, out one of the old weapons. Well, I mean that's a new weapon too. That's in Breath of the Wild. You oh got yeah, the, the light, fire rod was light, well, okay, yeah, but yeah. they brought it back because yeah. it didn't exist back in for a long time. 
Yeah, no, that was definitely a link to the past weapon, yeah. and, and of course it has its roots in the original game where you had the wand. Yeah, but uh, yeah, no, that that'd be that'd be cool. As I would love to see Mario do uh, Mario get changed <laughs> a little bit. Like I, I like Mario. As Mario's yeah, Mario's done. a great character, but um, but I didn't. The change they made with him was they you know he had the cape, and then he had um, the the water gun. Yeah. And I wasn't really a huge fan of the water gun. The cape was cool, though. The cape was pretty cool because like it, it reflected. Yeah, yeah. And, he, every, and he reflected. And Dr. Awesome. Mario was the same way, except he had the uh, the, the clipboard. Yeah. yeah so Which, I, again, Dr. Mario, I could take it or leave it, but at the same time, I do like Dr. Mario. I'd, I'd, because I'd like, the noise he makes when he hits people yeah, with I'd fucking like, pills. I'd like to see Dr. Mario come <laughs> back just just for the goof of it all. Or have, like at least be an alternate costume. Yeah, well, Where yeah. it had the sound effects and the moveset and everything. Uh, oh, just another Mario character. I'd like to see Waluigi get his time, yes. time to shine. Give, give us me a Wario Waluigi. and you, Waluigi. You gave us Wario. He was, he was different enough from the rest of the characters. Give us Waluigi. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to see him. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see him in something that's not a tennis or a Mario Party game. Yeah, you know, like, like give us, yeah, give give us Waluigi and fucking Smash. make <clears throat> Waluigi like hit the tennis racket be like his thing. Yeah, that'd be cool because <laughs> that's where he was introduced. So fuck it. Yeah, have him beat the shit out of people with the tennis racket. Yeah, I mm-hmm. think it would be awesome if they included like the, his final Smash or something was like. To jump out of the screen and pull out like uh, a flag or something from Mario Kart and start waving it, and then a bunch of Mario Kart racers, like like uh, fucking all the people who aren't in Smash Brothers, just come driving through the stage and run everybody over. <laughs> It'd be so fun. I'd be crazy. okay. Yeah, I I would be completely okay with that. I love the Mario Kart stages too. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like like some of the like have a. <clears throat> like Mario Kart stages and the style of the F-Zero stages, which I know they did have. Yeah, they, they did. Uh, they just had to jump out of the way. Um, I'd like to see more Earthbound characters. Uh, you know, like like somebody, that game so I recommend mentioned Porky. I li- I'd like to see, I'd like to see Porky come he back. He was the one in the robot. In, uh, yeah, uh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to see him be Lucas. A- yeah, I don't think Lucas was that interesting, to be honest. No, I don't care about Lucas. I, I know, I know, that's like a sin to say, but... Yeah. I, I don't. I, like, I like Ness as, as a character. I like Ness. Yeah. I liked. I even liked Villager. Like I didn't like to play as Villager, but his inclusion I thought was really cool. Um, if we're gonna go with Earthbound characters, I'd like to see Pooh. He's the fourth. Oh, uh, the ninja looking dude. Yeah, he's a samurai kid. Yeah. yeah. The, the, I'd like to see him. Like that'd be really cool. Like you included Ness, you gave us Lucas. Uh, and, Plus, I'd love to be able to say I'm beating up on Pooh. Right. <laughs> Of course you would. So yeah, no that that'd be really cool. I I or Paula give give us like one of the other other Smash characters or one of the other Earthbound characters yeah. or Mother characters, uh, Dusty Bones. Like let me play as a dog. That'd be cool. You know, like you did with the Duck Hunt dog. Which, oh God, I forgot. Yeah, Pac Man and Duck Hunt dog were both in there too. They yeah. went way. They went. They, you could see. That's the thing is if people who like no, you can't put that character in there. You could go deep. We could get fucking. Um, they put Rob. Rob wasn't yeah. even an actual Rob, game character. He was a there. controller. We could get like uh, he was an Blast Master. Device. We could get uh, like Bomberman, man. Contra, co- the guys Contra's from Contra. Guys? Yeah. Why not? You know. You can go put, back to a lot of NES NES characters. But I, I, you know what? To all the people who were saying Goku shouldn't be in the game because he's not. Fuck you. Yeah. Go fuck yourselves. No, I seriously. Would, yeah, I I think every Smash Brothers needs those like <clears throat> super outside. Oh my god, they got this character. They don't need to be fucking DLC characters like um, Ryu and uh, Free, yeah Ryu. Because yeah, again, Ryu, that's incredibly interesting to me to put Ryu in there. And that he, is awesome. Yeah, that, that that's fucking that's yeah, fucking great. That is like, really fucking awesome that Ryu was in there. I'd love to see that. Continue on with that. Uh, give, give me fucking. Uh, give me M Bison or give me give me yeah. Chun Li. Give me you know Mortal Kombat. Let's go to Mortal Kombat just for the fuck of it. Or give it, me Scorpion. Um, give me give because me, uh, it, they've mixed with it. Give me somebody from Soul Calibur. Yeah. Give me uh, like fucking Yoshimitsu. Or no, he was a fucking Tekken. That's character. Tekken. What, but fucking, he was in Soul Calibur. So give me Yoshimitsu. Give me, give me the uh, I can't remember the name of the samurai who has like a cigarette in his mouth. Or, like, admittedly, I'm not. I, I don't. I know have not about Soul played Calibur. Soul Calibur since the one that Link was in. Yeah, that's the only <laughs> one I've ever played. It be it was because Link was in it. So I uh, give me uh, Tali or um, <clears throat> uh, fuck. What does it do with the staff? I don't remember his name. Keelik. Give me or night. Just go with like the badass big motherfucker nightmare. <laughs> I mean, just, just you know, just if we're gonna go. Yeah, if we're gonna go to outlier characters, then let's fucking do it. I know? think you could go Smash Brothers. 
you could go pretty far with it. I, I got a I got a completely obscure character for you. Mm-hmm. Give us Harley from Harley's Humongous Adventure on the Super Nintendo. Don't know just who some the fuck kid. Is, but why he, not? He was some kid genius who shrunk himself. <laughs> Dumbest shit ever, but you know what? It was a fun platformer. <laughs> Give me some fish from the fucking seafood game I played. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's not do that. <laughs> Don't do that it's one. It's so awful. Um, <clears throat> let's see from, from but you know, I I really do want some, like Shovel Knight. Give me Shovel Knight. Yeah, I honestly, after I said it, I think Crash Bandicoot. I don't know. I have like I just think there's a high possibility they could be pull. I, I they could, could pull Crash into. I mean, it. considering that you know, like I said, that that insane trilogy is being ported, I could mm-hmm. totally see it being like, um, shit. I just had a I just had a character. That, oh, I'd like to see Hollow Knight pop up in there. Oh yeah, we mentioned him with the indies. Yeah, I, like we said, I think a lot of indie stuff they could talk to, and a lot of those indie guys would be like, "Please, by all means, take Are my you money." Kidding? Fuck yeah, dude! Uh, to cheer. Um, Here's all the rights you need. Whatever, whatever you need, we give you assets. Whatever. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I would love Super to see Super Meat Boy. Fucking, uh, I, yeah. I think it would be interesting if you did a like just fucking an indie <clears throat> thing and do that like Pokemon Master. Right. So it would tra- change between like Hollow Knight, Meat Boy, fucking uh, the kid from uh, uh, what's that weird shooter? Isaac. Isaac. Mining yeah, the Isaac. Mining is Isaac. Yeah. Like just some weird shit, man. You could go crazy with indie. Fuck it, go out there, man. Just, yeah. you know. Um, it's the dude from uh, Slain. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's so fucking metal and dark. Uh, just a Viking motherfucker. Just a Viking motherfucker. Yeah. from like, uh, A sword and a, a fucking like an axe. Oh, but not like a, a weapon, but like the guitar. Oh, my God. That just game because. is so fucking hard. I, so unreasonably I hard. wanted to get the game, but I, I, I skipped it. Guitar, I guitar Hero Man. Guitar Hero Man. <laughs> no old Japanese weird game. Uh, Paul Rappa the Rappa. <laughs> well, he was in um, fucking uh, Sony's. Yeah, I, I remember Sony that. Heroes yeah, or the, whatever. Sony did uh, Sony uh, something All Stars. Sony All Stars. Yeah, yeah, which I thought Crash might have been in. I, but if, I even if remember. he was, still pull him I over mean, into Smash. Bros. I, I I'm ninety percent sure I bought that game on Vita because it's actually pretty fun. Mm-hmm. It's actually a decent game. Um, I, I can't remember what characters were in it now. Like I just I got nothing. Yeah. Oh well, I think we should probably cut it off there. So I think we did pretty good. Yeah, that was that was fun. You know. So yeah, guys. Smash Bros. Yeah. Check us out. Um, <laughs> like we always say, and we don't always say. Uh, no, check out the not. Twitter, the Facebook. Give us a rating on iTunes. Share it. Get you know see if you get anybody else to listen. One more person would be awesome to help us out. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, we'll, we will make sure to have the YouTube link up this time. Yeah, no, I, I won't fuck that up. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to be awake Tuesday morning when everything goes live to make sure I click, click. Yeah. I mean, I, it was dumb. <laughs> it's dumb. But, yeah. And then, of course, we have the Patreon. You could, uh, you know, support us, help us out. We're going to keep doing this, uh, but keep, you know, helping us out so that we could keep doing this and have a little bit more money would be awesome yeah it's any extra extra help is yeah. always appreciated and remember anywhere you can find us it's always ungodly geeks so twitter facebook patreon mm-hmm. you know the website of course ungodlygeeks.com has links to everything so yeah for the ungodly geeks i was joe i was luke guys uh you know have a good day and fuck Peace. ea yeah yeah